Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Shaven Butcher for another shave. <clears throat> but first off, a few announcements. Uh, today is uh, emoji day. Do you know what a cow emoji is called? Emoji. There are two important things in life, two rules. Rule number one, never give away too much information. I went to the doc, doctor's office uh, yesterday and I, I said, Doc, uh, sometimes I feel like a supermarket. He said, how long have you felt like this? I said, ever since I was little. Last night, my wife and I watched three movies back to back. Luckily, I was the one facing the television. Um, if a kid at daycare denies nap time, is he then resisting arrest? And finally, what kind of cereal do pimps like? Cherry hose. Today we're going to shave and I was watching <clears throat> another YouTube superstar, Christopher Bradley, and he was using a vintage Wade and Butcher. Well, there are only vintage Wade and Butcher, so I'm using mine. Got a bit inspired. This is a 7 8 <clears throat> wedge razor with a barber's notch and original scales of bone or horn with lead inlays. So we're using that. We're also introducing <clears throat> another Chicago soap, Sweet Comb Chicago. And this one is mint chocolate. So no, coffee mint, sorry. Mint chocolate would have been nice but to eat, but coffee is good in a soap. Mint is good in a soap. So let's see how that works out. This is a beeswax soap and you can see the honeycomb pattern on the inside. That is kind of cool. Sweet comb Chicago. Brush today is, um, I'm alternating the two Grey Dog brushes. This is synthetic. It's made from maple from Grey Dog's backyard. So, voila. I'm gonna wet the face. Face is wet. It's a beautiful day today in old Sweden. Perfect day, perfect summer day. Nice and warm, sunny. So I did a bit of gardening in the morning and then went off to the beach for a, just a few hours. I don't like to hang around the beach all, all day, but it was, it was lovely. Got a bit of sun, got a bit of a swim. Now I stay the hell away from other people. I, I take the Corona virus thing very seriously so honestly for days i have not been closer than two meters from anyone outside my family so luckily the beach where we're at is is pretty empty so um so you can stay there it's a sand beach if you want to rocks if you want to it's a natural beach and uh, it's lovely water today was beautiful and clear quite fresh but nice so I went home had a cigar had a shower and now it's time for the shave the rasage yes it actually smells a bit like chocolate but it's coffee and mint so let's see how we do we're loading quite heavily why the hell not ah I'll probably do. I'll scoop up the rest because there's no sense in rinsing away good good suds. So voila. <clears throat> Could probably shave with only this, to be honest. But where's the fun in that? So we're getting the rest of the stuff onto the face. <clears throat> yeah, there was um but there's something, there, there are two things that annoy me a, a little bit, two kind of misconceptions. I feel they are in the wet shaving world. Um, the second one I'll bring up in a future video, but today I thought I'd, 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 I'd want to spill my guts on something. <laughs> Call me crazy. There's, a, there's often talk about a soap providing a cushion 
No, this is not a YouTube phenomena. It's it's well known in the wet shaving community, and you see comments about it quite often. Um, a cushion providing protection between you and the blade. So no matter if you're shaving with a straight razor or a shavette or or single edge or double edge safety razor, whatever, there's there's always. Well, not always, but sometimes appreciation for the cushion that the soap provides. So the cushion is often described as, as what I just said, you know, a protective barrier, like a pillow somehow, between... Okay, so I put that on and then I've... I know the light in here is pretty terrible, but I've hydrated it so it's sort of translucent. Is it translucent in English? I always mix that up with other trans words. Not difficult to build a lather out of that, that's for sure. So, you know, I've been thinking about this quite a bit and I have been chatting to other people, including people who talk about cushion and my conclusion, I'm not saying this is correct, but my, my conclusion is that how the heck can there be a, a protective barrier between the skin and the blade when what you're doing is trying to get as close to the skin as possible to get a close, a possible, as possible, a shave. Right? I mean, mechanically, if you get a good close shave, that means you've been damn close to the skin, shaving as close to the blood as you possibly can. So if there is a protection, a protective cushion, well, protection is another thing, I'll get to that. But if there is a cushion, how do you get close to the skin? Because then, you know, the racer would shy away somehow or be be stopped from getting as close to the skin as you want to and need to to get a, a close shave so i deduct not from any other research than shaving and talking to a few people that there's no such thing as cushion that can be provided by a soap now, you can get far away from the skin if you have a shit razor or poor technique. But those are different things. Now, let me just get my razor to demonstrate. Well, protection is another thing. A soap, sure as heck, can provide protection. Wait and butcher. And you, the soap is supposed to do a few different things. God, this thing is lovely. It's been around for a good 150, 170, whatever years. It still shaves beautifully. And in, in this case, since I have a good soap, um, I have protection from the soap in that the glide is good. How? Well, there's less friction between the blade and the skin. Not the whiskers, you want that friction to be 100%. Maybe I'm expressing myself poorly, but you, you, you want to cut those, those buggers off, right? But the skin shouldn't be in the way. So slickness is protection. And the only slickness or the only protection that a soap can give 
is slickness. So you do get protection from a soap, but not from an imagined or real cushion or barrier. You want the opposite of a barrier. You want to get as close as possible and you want the blade to move down the skin as frictionless as you can. I didn't do a perfect job lathering that soap. It still is good. And the scent is great. I, I'm sorry, I smell... I smell quite a bit of chocolate. I get a bit of coffee as well, and a bit of mint. But more, more chocolate than anything, which is fine by me. Actually, I haven't read the scent notes. John Lyon sent this to me together with the other Chicago soaps. And it doesn't say the scent notes are coffee mint, but it says it's made with coffee mint and beeswax. So I may be off, but in any event, it's a lovely scent. Just like, um, just like the other sweet comb Chicago soap, which was the original or something which is made with and supposed to smell like the nectars from the bees. Or is it the flowers? Great soap. Thank you, John, so much for, for sending all of them. This is going well. because it's a good razor and the soap is slick. It's also going well because I'm in a good mood. That helps. I get better shapes when I'm in a good mood. It's rare that if I'm angry, especially angry, it's rare I get a good shape. It just comes in the way of, of the technique. So every Friday, for the last few Fridays anyway. Christopher Bailey and David Gonzalez have a real talk on Instagram. So they chat for close to an hour about topics which uh, sometimes are prepared. I, th I think Chris prepares the topics and gives an opinion shoots them at David and it's all about wet shaving and what's happened in the week etc and it's, it's bloody brilliant I mean I really like both those two guys and I like their YouTube channels and they've been around for a long time and it's it's very much a non-bullshit thing but it's well prepared I mean they put in a lot of time to get that good otherwise it wouldn't be so it's well prepared, it's interesting topics, it's well thought through, and I implore you to check it out. Usually, or at least yesterday, was, uh, was 2 a.m. Central European time, 2, p 2 a.m., yeah, so uh, 8 o'clock, yeah, 8 o'clock Eastern U.S. time. Oh, so good. So, you know, they talk about serious things, not so serious things. Not only about YouTube, but the shaving nerdery of the community in general. And really, you just have to watch them to figure out the, what goes on, who did what, what the trends are. So. It's really entertaining. I mean, I don't see the comments. I don't know, maybe I can, but I'm a bit of a technical, t technical, technically impaired person. So it seems the comments are good too and fun too.
and they are such professionals. So Chris would pick up a topic and be very polite about it and express uh, an opinion or not, and then shoot it over to David, who <laughs> will use the, the F word in every thinkable form and sort of say it like it is. And Chris is going, hmm. <laughs> it really is. I don't know how much is rehearsed. I'm not sure it is overly rehearsed, although the topics are well prepared. It's just brilliant. It's not comedy, but it's funny and it's, it's very informative. So I watched it today, today is Saturday. I picked up on two things that I've missed during the week because I am not in the face groups very much. I think something went on there. So two things happened apparently. One was Uh-huh. Sorry. Some areas are tricky when you're to shave when you're talking. One was how important is technique or rather can a, a really good soap um, make a, a shave good even though the technique isn't spot on. Which is why cartridge racers were invented, weren't they? Well, I didn't watch a lot of stuff. I, 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 did, uh, I did watch Dave Card <laughs> do just about the most English shaving video I've ever seen. <laughs> Where uh, of, while shaving flawlessly three passes, or if it's four in about four minutes, concluded that no, technique is not important. It's all in the soap. <laughs> I'll forget to link it, but it was, it was brilliant. Very English. Very straight faced. But it's fascinating that our inbred society can, can find that exciting anyway. Yeah, and then there was drama. I don't know if this was drama, maybe not. This was more a bit of a joke, but there was drama because someone made a soap and had the audacity to not make as many soaps, soap tins, as there were people who wanted to acquire it. And then someone else purchased the soap and sold it at a higher value than he had paid for it from the soap manufacturer. The audacity and then the soap maker got angry and called this person out. I don't know who it was, saying that cannot be done and did so publicly so that everyone would know. So, yeah, so I was a bit disappointed because I heard there was drama and I thought, oh, cool, someone's killed someone with a straight racer. Or someone got sued over something. Or two guys found each other at a meetup and formed a family together or something, you know, I would call dramatic. But this was it. This, this is about as drama-like as the wet shaving community gets. Nonetheless, it was news, it was a big topic, which is why Chris and Dave brought it up, as they should. So, cool stuff. Okay. 
This is a great shave. Touch up. As I've said before, if you can move a straight razor across your skin in an area where it should be stretched taut, but you, you don't stretch it, if you can do that and cut whiskers, then you've got a good soap razor combo. And flawless technique. Obviously. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. I wasn't going to drink today. Because sometimes it's good to have a week where you don't drink. For your body, plus show to yourself you you're able to but i do have some champagne in the fridge or my wife does so we'll see this really is a good soap i don't think it's a very expensive soap it's not one of those where people um, take a day off work just to be there when the soap drops <clears throat> in order to sell it at twice the value. It's not that kind of a thing, but it's bloody good. Really is fantastic. I thought I didn't do a good job on the lather, and I think maybe I didn't. It's perfect anyway, and that's that's a damn good soap if you get that. If it sort of doesn't matter if you get it, well, you can't get a crap lather, but it doesn't matter if the lather is perfect or just quite good, and you still get a good shave. That's good stuff. I'm gonna rinse on camera today, so enjoy. Nice, nice close shave. That was really good. I'm gonna rinse cold as well. I was lucky with the shave there, but as Tiger Woods said, and I, I'm sure someone else before him said, uh, no, it wasn't Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods says a forest is 90% air, 90% air. And someone else, can't remember, said, people call me lucky. It's funny, the more I practice, the luckier I get. Not that it has anything to do with technique, of course. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel, which I also got from John. This is the unscented version. <coughs> and some of the dome, as instructed. Wow, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna put a alcohol splash or anything on it. I'm not gonna put on a bomb. I'm just gonna enjoy life like this. It feels brilliant, brilliant. Cool, I wanna end with, uh, with my tick bite because my wife isn't here. So, so the, the, the thing got bigger. It's about, it's about four inches wide by two and a half um, tall. And that's very good. I am eating the penicillin. And I think the, the disease I have is not what I told you. 
or at least that's not the English word. So I'm Googling now. Uh, what the heck? It was, I got a few proposals and let's see if that's... Uh, do, 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 do. Um, Lyme disease. So I have Lyme disease. And I'm going to show you a short few seconds of the red mark on my belly. And I'll end with that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, see you soon and stay sharp.